Somebody had to put them down onto film. You can't let a whole several centuries of, of endeavour in a field like that without recording it. It's, it's far better than painting. If you paint it, that's not real. These are real. These are authentic. I'm Colin Garrett, and I'm best known for my photographs of steam trains. In 1969, I turned professional as a photographer to document the last steam trains of the world, and that has occupied me ever since, and that work is ongoing. But along the way, there was another element which fascinated me, which had the same kind of mystique, the same kind of personality, and was also heading for extinction, and that was the Scarecrow, which used to haunt the medieval landscapes of England, and until recent years was a common sight in our countryside. And then, without warning, without expectation, this aspect of the feudal past vanished like sure. a ghost in the night. You want to see the title of that small don't you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if I hold it like this, can you, can you see me mm -hmm. down the book? Yeah. So as you get older, mm. you tend to look back on your life and memories which you thought you'd long since forgotten come back like the running of a film, as if you're actually back there, wandering across sun-soaked fields in the search of some scarecrow and capturing it at just the right angle. They were moments of sublime contentment and ha happiness that you didn't realise at the time. But now, all these years later, you recall those incidences and those memories of those great moments meant with these apparitions, some would say, from the devil. I think part of the enchantment of, of the operation was, yes, I was scared. I remember on one occasion there were three or four of them in a field and they were quite separated and I was wandering around them looking for the best camera angle and inadvertently strayed further back than I thought and I, I half turned my head and there was a scarecrow right on my side outwardly to all intents having walked to me and the shock that that gave me was to I almost dropped the camera. A shiver went up my spine and it, w it was as if the, the, the thing was alive and it was, it was a twilight shot so there was already an atmosphere of eeriness but I think this question of being slightly frightened of them makes for better pictures. You, you're going to be fairly cold and clinical if if you haven't got some feeling, some emotive feelings towards them, and they are nothing is more emotive than a scarecrow, as centuries of history has taught us. Now, I think it needed to be done. Uh, they're part of our culture, and I hope that the pictures that I made back in the 1980s will not only live beyond my lifetime, but will be of interest and value and give pleasure to many other people who unfortunately were born too late to see the magical scarecrow, like the steam locomotive. Extinct, gone forever, but authentically so.